Hey everybody, it's Blake's Nature Life. Today I'm gonna be covering plants, getting them ready for tonight. Right here we have a uh, passion vine. I grew this one from seed. And come look at all the fruits it's making right now. Look how big that one is. We got two other ones that are growing. Wouldn't that be cool if it was really tasty? Let's see, there was another one. Don't see right now, but there was another flower that had a fruit on it. Here it is. So I'm gonna put sheets over it. I'm gonna turn these lights on. And then the plants in the back, we're gonna also cover as well, then have the lights on them turned on. You can see how good it's doing, even though it's being a lot cooler. Tonight's supposed to be 34, but the real fill could be in the upper 20s, so you don't want to take a chance. Let's be careful. We don't want to lose something that I think is a miracle from one year from seed making all these fruits. All right, let's walk over here real quick. Let's see how the avocado is doing. I'm also going to be digging up a pipe to get it ready for sometime this week to try to fix. That's on the back side and we'll take you back there to show you what's going on. It's starting to get cooler this wind. Woo! Alright, so this avocado will need to be covered. Like I said, it came from my, my girlfriend's family's tree and their tree was from seed grown and it made fruit in only six years. I figured I'd try to push the edge and try to grow the same type of avocado down up in here, zone A, B. I even have a jackfruit. I had a deer come in here and chew this off, so it's regrowing from that. Some of the bananas, they're gonna be okay. All right, so let's go dig up that pipe real quick, and then I'll show you like a a little section of me putting the blankets on and I'll be turning these lights on as well. See you when I see you. Here's where the pipe's at. I gotta dig a few more feet deep around it. That way we can work on it another day. I didn't show you we're in the middle part of the property. Here's all the wood that I gotta burn. Some of them will try to save for wood. And then here's pieces of metal from the old trailer that used to be right in this spot. In the set the tanks over there. I gotta clean the top of it off. Um, we actually pushed it over with the skid steer. But that'll be easily fixed. But you can see this spot was already cleared. And then way in the distance we have a lot that we have also cleared. But it's beautiful out here. Still a lot of work. We're getting there. Let me show you. Let me just dig in a little bit. And we'll come back, check on the, do the blankets. Real simple, easy way to uh, protect the plants, you know. All right. That's what we wanted to get the dirt around it i'll come back another day and just cap it off so this is where it went up it fed into the kitchen of the trailer and the trailer went back past the burn pile triple wide full of trash lady was a hoarder she and she had ferrets that's a double whammy here's the electric box that was right beside near the kitchen and so that's taken care of. I'll come back another day, mark it. I'll have to do a little video or maybe add some pictures of the trailer that was being knocked down. Give you an idea.
Let's drop a sheet over this real quick. Then we'll turn the lights on. Just keep it a few degrees warmer. It stores all that heat from the clear light, Christmas lights. Right. We'll start where this corner is. And we're gonna pop it up. Feed it over top of it. Your plants will thank you so much. I appreciate this. This helps with uh, do sitting on the plant's leaves that can also destroy the plant and make it die from the cold weather. We're gonna do try to do another one if I could. Probably maybe three more. Last time I was able to do two of these sheets. It worked perfect. Let's see if we can get this red one on there perfect. Everybody's doing good. Sometimes you don't want to work with it. So now I'm going to just kind of throw it up there more, feed it more around the, the vine. I want it more on the other side, so I'll lift it up to lift it over. This works perfect if you have like a fence with a vine growing on that's tropical. If you have plants, you're gonna see what you can do as long as you have a space. <clears throat> or you can just put the sheet right over the plant. It's gonna do just fine. All right, since I couldn't get over all of it, I'm gonna put one more sheet. We'll call it good on this vine. I want to save some for the other plants. All right. Oh, I meant to tell you, you want to overlap the sheets. That helps a lot for the wind to not blow it off. You don't want the wind to catch under it. That's what kills a lot of plants when it's cooler. Like I said earlier, if it says it's 34, it could feel like 28 or even chillier because of the, the wind. Sometimes I ask things, why, why, why can't there be a lot of wind in the summertime? Well, we don't live near the coast. We're through an hour and something away. I just wish it would Need more wind. So this is what you want right here. You want it to look like this. You see I have the base covered up with PVC pipe. Chris's lights coming up. And we're going to soon going to turn on the lights. Now we have the sheets up. We have the lights on. The Christmas lights. Don't use the LED. Use the other ones that are just clear. Or you can use the old fashioned bulbs. But you wouldn't want to put blankets on it because it would catch on fire. You'd have to just put them on stakes off the ground. Let's go check out what I did with plants that are in the ground. We covered my avocado. We covered one of my, let's see, what old mahogany was right beside it. See how I put the sheets over the stakes that I had in the ground? It's okay, that little spot's a little open. I have a lot of sheets over top and them Christmas lights to put off a lot of heat. And I want this avocado in time to become tough and more cold tolerant. And the cinder blocks help keep warmth and block the wind. I'm thinking about grabbing some more in the back to put around the fronts of these. And also finish putting the front for this uh, ice cream bean tree to cover it from the wind. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Stay warm. Hope this was helpful. Have a good one.